Hello, my name is Stuart Wright, and this is the third video in my build diary of the construction of the new AV Forums home cinema. In this video, we're going to talk about the kit. Uh, the kit's been specifically uh, chosen to match the room and to perform a specific job within it. Uh, Neil Davidson of Genesis Technologies uh, gave us some help with the specification for the speakers. He suggested Wisdom Audio P38Is for the front three, uh, P20Is for the surround speakers and S90I subwoofers. They're all in-wall speakers. The um, left and right speakers will be in-wall either side of the screen and the center speaker will be behind the screen. We've selected the um, image screens cinema TV mask projection screen which um, enables us to move the main screen up out of the way to reveal uh, the TV that's located behind it um, that will be used for uh, gaming. Um, in this room we've got both a, um, a full anamorphic screen and we've got a TV uh, that's primarily going to be used for, uh, for gaming or you know, casual TV watching. Um, the, obviously that gives one or two challenge because you, you know, traditionally the only way you could get around that would be to put an electric drop down screen, uh, which is uh, something we didn't want to do. It's always nice in a you know, dedicated room to have a, a fixed screen and you've got all the tension and everything there that of, you know, comes think of from having a fixed screen. Um, what we're doing here is we're using a screen from uh, image um, screens which is designed specifically to have um, a, a TV behind it so it, the, the actual white projection area of the screen is on a is on two rollers so when the uh, when you're not watching the actual projection screen the the white image rolls away and it's got a, a cutout that's designed to uh, to allow you to see the screen it's you know there's a section of screen not there um, and obviously that could look quite messy because you've got you know effectively a hole in your screen when it's when it's in that position but what cleverly happens is because it's a four-way mass screen the black masking comes in tight to the uh, to the dimension of the screen. Obviously, that can be set if the screen is changed or at later date. Uh, so it nicely masks the screen with the with the black. So you really do just have the uh, the exact dimensions of the screen there. In Genesis Technologies demo room, we were able to experience the DataSat RS20i processor. It's the most flexible processor on the market today, uh, enabling very uh, advanced audio setup with EQ and it can also control the home cinema system as well. Uh, that will be connected to uh, two ADA PTM8150 amplifiers. Each of those is uh, eight times 250 watts, giving us 16 channels and four kilowatts of power in total. Uh, 250 watts will be going to each of the two Wisdom Audio Passive subwoofers. Uh, there'll be several sources. The key ones will be um, 3D Blu-ray player and um, several gaming consoles and they'll be neatly tucked away. Uh, the sources for this room are going to be located in a, a custom-made cabinet at the back of the room. Uh, again, we want to keep that cabinet height within the, that 600mm band that runs around the bottom of the room, just so that it's visually, it, you know, just disappears into the background. So the cabinet's going to be custom-painted into the same colour as the fabric, so it just blends blends in. Um, always going to have the kit, you know, visible on the front of it, so you can access the, uh, the sources easily. Um, and that's all going to be said. It's going to be housed in the cabinet at the back of the uh, the back of the room. The amplifiers um, obviously don't need to be accessed at all uh, for any particular reason, so they don't need to be in the room, they don't need to take up the cabinet space, so we're trying to reduce the amount of the kit that has to be stored in the room. Um, you know, if you don't want a huge amount of kit, it's going to effectively be one of your lounge spaces. So we source those up in a uh, handy uh, roof space that's got a, uh, an access hatch um, off the, uh, the master suite. Um, away from the away from the main uh, cinema, but it's actually just the other side of the the wall uh, above the cinema ceiling. So it's actually meant that there's very small runs of cable between the two, the sources and the uh, the amplifiers. Uh, and in fact, the speaker cable is probably shorter that way because it would have had to go up to the ceiling and back down again. So it's it's actually slightly shorter by having them, those sited in that location. Uh, having the amplifiers out of the room obviously helps a little bit with not having to have the heating, uh, the heat that the amplifiers generate within the room. So uh, you know the We've already talked about the radiators now, they're specified to, to be the right size of the room, but if you start adding you know, a lot of equipment that's going to add other heating into the room, then uh, it's, it's best if we can avoid that if possible. And so we have the opportunity here to, uh, to, to hide those away and not have them in the room so we haven't got that headache to worry about. Given that we can completely control the light in the room, we can have it completely dark in there if we want. 
we've selected the JVC DLA X70R. Uh, it's the first digital projector that uh, we've owned. Previously we had a Barco 1209 CRT uh, in our, which we left in our last home cinema. Uh, that took up tons of floor space, it was a huge thing. Great picture quality but massive. Um, these days, of course, you can get fantastic picture quality out of the uh, new generation of digital projectors such as the JVC uh, with the added bonus that they have, they're much smaller and this one in particular will be hidden way up in the bulkhead out of sight. Uh, the projector uh, we've managed to cleverly hide into the room as well so it's not just going to be hung from the ceiling. It's, it's a, again, we've, we've got this band sort of design that runs around the room and at the very top of the room we've got a bulkhead. Uh, which has allowed us to do two things. It's managed to, uh, we managed to hide the projector within that bulkhead, uh, which again is going to help just with noise and background that we be hidden away so there's not going to be a uh, the projector sort of right above your seating because it's quite close to your head in this room. Uh, and also the, that the bulkhead runs the full width of the room so it's giving you added storage for, uh, for you know, the, all the additional bits that come with games consoles and uh, other controllers and things like that can be hidden away so you know, it's not going to get a messy room and things like that. It's, it's going to be laid around, they can be hidden away if required. The room will have um, the acoustically transparent stretched material um, on the walls and also the ceiling, uh, which will help us um, with the placement of speakers and acoustic um, treatment panels. Um, but also um, it'll help with the design of the lighting. The, uh, the lighting in the room uh, was something we went around at, at, at length. Um, because the room is going to be you know, as, as much a, a kid's space and to, for gaming and, and, uh, and entertaining as it is a, a cinema as well, uh, we wanted something that was fun and, and you know, enjoyable to be in for the, for the kids as well as the, well as the adults. Um, and it was obviously important that for, for movie watching, the, the ambience of the room could be you know, very, very low light levels, you know, just to be able to see your drink or, or when you're watching the movie. Um, and also one of the issues we had in the room was coming up with exactly you know, what was the final colour of the room, what, what did we want the look and feel and because of the different uses of the room it was going to be difficult to, you know, to pinpoint an exact colour. Um, so what we've done is we've selected tones um, for, the, for the room which are you know, relatively light in places uh, but what we've done is we've, we've used um, RGB colour changing LED lighting so that we can actually fill the room with various different colours of light so if you know, particularly want to you know, relaxing, you might choose a, choose a red sort of mood or you know, we can take it back through the colour spectrum so we can really change the colour of the room depending on uh, the control of the light. So we've got uh, basically three um, different lighting positions really. We've got the spotlights that are going to be down over the, uh, to give you the wash of, uh, of light which can be either white or colour change say to any of the, uh, the, the light spectrums across the seating area. And then we've got two linear LED fittings, one of which is going to fit right tight to the ceiling above the, the top of the screen, the full width of the room. And then the other one is going to uh, be hidden within a detailing of the bulkhead that we spoke about where the projector's going in. Uh, and that's going to give us a wash of light right across the, uh, the ceiling, which is going to be covered in stretched fabric. Um, so you're going to get a really nice effect from, from both sides of there as well. Um, and again, so because it's colour changing, you can you can have an iPad control of that to be able to control that to whatever colour you want for the room. Now we've completed the design and we've selected the kit, it's time to start building. Um, you can follow uh, the build in more detail uh, and also comment in the thread at AV Forums. If you're watching this on YouTube, there's uh, a link in the description below. And uh, come back soon for the next Build Diary video. Thanks for watching.